Hello, everyone, and welcome to round three of Can You Stump Her, starring Tracy Her. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Michael. You ready for something this time? This time there's going to be. To, I, I'm using German fingers now. I'll use peace sign. There's. I'm breaking two things now because we moved up to level three. So the previous two rounds, only one thing was broken. Now two things are broken. So it's going to increase the challenge. And to be nice, I'm, I'll give you a whole six minutes today to solve this. Okay, I'm ready to play. You're ready to play and excited? All right. Okay, your time starts now. Could not connect to workplace join and refresh the code. Every if time I sign in, I just come back here. It just loops me back. And if you press that refresh code, does it give you a code? Yeah, I think so. Let me click refresh code. Yep. Okay. As you see it. Yep, it gives me yep, it gives me a new code. All right. So let's go check out workplace join is a part of the Azure AD side. So when we are looking at uh, Azure AD device objects and conditional access and when the device registers in Azure AD, that's when it's doing the workplace join. So we're going to focus on Azure AD for a minute. So let's go look at the Azure portal. And okay, here's my Azure portal. All right, and go to users and then search for your user account you're signing in with. Okay, that's my account. And go to devices on the left. All right. All right, wow, you have quite a few device objects there, 11, and lots of them say not compliant. All right, so go up one level to back to uh, Azure AD users, or just, yeah, the regular. Okay. Then go to devices. All right. And go to device settings. Device settings. Scroll down. You have a limit of one device per per user. I do, we don't, want, we don't want people using a lot of devices. It's a security yeah. problem, we think. Right. So usually you want to let users have at least two or three, laptop, mobile device, desk phone. So you might want to increase that, but this is where you're getting blocked for, you can't have a, a new object created, so it can't do the workplace join because you have too many device objects. So if increasing it to 20 is one way to do it, or you could have deleted your stale device objects that are under your account. All right, I think this is easier. I'm going to pause the timer. I'm going to reboot the phone. Just let's start fresh. Make give this time to replicate, and uh, let's see what happens on an, the second sign and see if this fixes it. All right. All right. So here's the error I'm getting now, Tracy. Couldn't enroll in Intune. So, how how you recommend we go about fixing that one? Okay, so this is going to be. Uh, problem in the endpoint management portal. So we're going to focus on that. Let's go to endpoint.microsoft.com. Oops, I didn't start the timer. Oh, cancel. I just want to hit play. There we go. So I'm at endpoint.microsoft.com. Where would you like me to go? Uh, click on devices on the left. All right. And let's go to enroll devices. Enroll devices. OK, I'm at enroll devices. All right, and then go to Enroll Device Platform Restriction. Click on All Users and Properties. Okay. Well, we do have it set to Allow here. All right. So let's go back to en Enroll Devices. <laughs> okay. And yep, go down ahead. to back enroll to that devices. Enroll Devices. Okay. And let's do go to the enroll device limit restrictions. Okay. All right. So you have your device limit set to one here. So I sure do, because again, we only want one device. Yeah. So we want we want to allow the same number of devices in Intune and Azure AD. However, Intune has a device limit cap of 15 when you're using the portal. So we want to bump this up to be oh, okay. as, close as, what, as close as what you have in Azure AD. All right, so how do I do that? 
click on all users and properties and edit the device limit. Drop that down. Let's and we said, what, 20 was the default on Azure AD, so 15 is the biggest we can go here. Okay, we've made two changes. I told you I broke two things. Do you think you, do you, think you have it fixed? I think so. Okay, Tracy, it looks like I'm signed in. You are. That was it. And uh, you did it with a minute something left. So, Tracy, during these first three rounds of troubleshooting, you always seem to know what phase of sign-in it's in. How, is there like a flow chart or a, can you magic a PowerPoint slide that shows us the, the sign-in flow of a Teams Android device? What do you expect me to snap my fingers and have a PowerPoint slide ready? Here you go. This is the flow of what happens when you sign in to your Teams phone. So we were getting caught at the second phase, step two, where enrollment happens with the company portal. And then it tries to authenticate to our token issuing service using the broker authenticator. And then step four is the workplace join with the Azure Active Directory device registration service. So yeah, the first problem was where it failed on step four. Yeah, and that's the error I saw is when it was unable to do workplace join. So because you know this, but it, if I could, if I would to do this, I'd refer to the chart and I'd just see Azure Active Directory. I could then start going through the troubleshooting steps within Azure Active Directory to see what kind of errors I'm getting. Okay, so that the, that was the first problem, but then we continued on to a second problem. So where is that in this whole flow? Yeah, the second problem was actually step five. So we already had our workplace join Azure AD device object created. And the next step is to go over to Intune and try and enroll in Intune. And Intune had that limit of number of Intune enrollment objects set to one. So that but step number five caught us on that second problem. And I believe it also gave us an error message pointing towards Intune. Okay, so as we step through this, so then Intune happens, then like that step six, MSAL provision, what is all, what is this MSAL and provision stuff? So after the device is done with Azure AD, it's got its Azure AD device, it's got its Intune enrollment object, then we circle back around to the Teams app, and then Teams app on the device uses MSAL to provision a third device object, and this one goes into the Teams admin center. So we're provisioning that device object in Teams Admin Center using the admin agent. So what is MSAL? It is the Microsoft Authentication Library. And ah, okay. That's, that's, that's how like you an... get authenticated, and that's how you get your tokens. All right, so that sounds really good. And then at some point after all this, we then actually sign into Teams. Yes. So after the provisioning is all done in all three places, you have all three device objects, then your phone lets you sign in. All right, Tracy, you, you won again. It's Tracy has three points. I have zero. Again, she needs all five to win a night of free drinks. And I just need to stump her once. I got close today. She was down to the final minute, but she got it. So the next round, maybe there'll be three things broken. And then round five is going to be the ultimate super stumper round. So... Good luck on the next two rounds, and I will see you shortly. All right, bring it on. Whether you're driving across town or going on a business trip, do yourself a favor. Try Microsoft Expedia Streets 98, where you'll find the U.S. street addresses you need with pinpoint accuracy. Say you're driving to St. Louis for a business meeting. First, locate your hotel, the Adams Mark and then plot a route to your client meeting. If you need to pick a restaurant nearby, consult Zagat's survey, the guide to restaurants throughout North America. 17,000 entries right here in Expedia Streets 98. And here's another feature. Export your maps to pocket streets and carry them wherever you go on your Windows CE handheld PC. And wait, there's more. With the deluxe edition of Streets 98, you get 14 million Yellow Pages USA listings to help pinpoint your clients on the map. Microsoft Expedia Streets 98. For personal or business use, find and map the U.S. street addresses you need to locate. <laughs>